Prince Harry prepares for big news as King Charles hosts Christmas for family. The Duke of Sussex is expected to spend the holidays at home in California. This week marks an important time in the Duke of Sussex's calendar. As he will hear the outcome of his unlawful information gathering claim against newspaper publisher, Mirror Group Newspapers, in a High Court ruling. Mr. Justice Fancourt, the judge who oversaw a trial of the claims earlier this year, is expected to give his ruling on Friday. Prince Harry sued MGN for damages, claiming journalists at their titles including the Daily and Sunday Mirror. And Sunday people were linked to methods including phone hacking, gaining information by deception, and the use of private investigators for unlawful activities. Other famous faces who brought forward similar claims at the court hearing this year included actress Nikki Sanderson, Coronation Street star Michael Lavelle, and comedian Paul Whitehouse's ex-wife, Fiona Whiteman. The allegations span a period from as early as 1991 until at least 2011, the court heard. The high-profile trial spanned seven weeks and concluded in June. Harry flew over from the U.S. to spend eight hours of questioning in the witness box, over two days. Evidence was also heard from dozens of witnesses, including former journalists, editors, private investigators, and MGN executives. Other witnesses, such as the family, friends, and colleagues of those bringing cases against the publisher, submitted written testimonies. MGN largely contested the claims, although they did admit to a small number of unlawful activity in relation to Prince Harry's case. The publisher apologized to the Duke and accepted they will be entitled to some damages. Harry is expected to spend the festive season in California with his wife Meghan and their two young children Archie and Lilibut. The Sussexes usually release an annual Christmas card. So fans are no doubt eagerly awaiting to see what photo the family have chosen to showcase this year. Meanwhile, King Charles and Queen Camilla are preparing to host the royal family's traditional Christmas events. The monarch usually invites extended members of the royal family to a luncheon at Buckingham Palace in the week leading up to the 25th. It's a chance for the king and queen to celebrate the festive season. With relatives they won't see on Christmas Day itself, such as Zara and Mike Tyndall and their children. A more select group of royals, including the Prince and Princess of Wales, the Princess Royal, and the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, then get together on Christmas Eve for a traditional dinner at Sandringham House where they exchange Loki and often Joker gifts. Members of the firm usually arrive at Norfolk in the days leading up to Christmas and step out on the 25th of December for the church service. And of course the public walk to St. Mary Magdalene and the short walk about afterwards. This year, King Charles is expected to extend the Christmas Day luncheon invite. To his wife Camilla's side of the family too, including her children and grandchildren are first in royal history. According to ITV's royal editor Chris Ship, Christmas lunch will now reportedly be served in the larger ballroom of Sandringham House rather than the dining room, to accommodate the extra guests. Camilla is mother to Tom Parker Bowles and Laura Lopes from her previous marriage to Andrew Parker Bowles. Tom shares daughter Lola and son Freddie with his former wife Sarah Byes. While Laura and her husband Harry are parents to Eliza and twin sons, Gus and Louis. The Duke of Sussex revealed the unexpected present in his memoir Spare. Prince Harry shared the backstory behind a surprise gift with a royal tie from Meghan in his memoir, Spare. The Duke of Sussex shared more than ever before his in-book, published in January, including the story of a present connected to Queen Elizabeth. The anecdote arose as Harry recapped his family's first Christmas in California. As he and Meghan relocated to her home state with their son Prince Archie, in 2020. It was Christmas Eve. We FaceTimed with several friends, including a few in Britain. We watched Archie running around the tree. And we opened presents. Keeping to the Windsor family tradition, Prince Harry wrote in spare. The tradition referred to the royal family's long-time custom of exchanging gifts on the 24th of December, a German practice. That Queen Victoria's Bavarian-born husband, Prince Albert, introduced in the mid-19th century. One present was a little Christmas ornament of, the Queen. I roared. What a... Meg had spotted it in a local store and thought I might like it, he continued. I held it to the light. It was Granny's face to a tea I hung it on an eye-level branch. It made me happy to see her there. But then Archie, 
playing around the tree, jostled the stand, shook the tree, and Granny fell. I heard a smash and turned. Pieces lay all over the floor, Harry wrote in spare, adding that the toddler tried to help fix the situation. Archie ran and grabbed a spray bottle. For some reason he thought spraying water on the broken pieces would fix it, he wrote. Meg said, no, Archie, no do not spray Gand Gan. I grabbed a dustpan and swept up the pieces, all the while thinking, this is weird. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.